guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you're notified every single time i post a video and yeah let's just go ahead and hop right into it so if you guys are here for my first video and you watch part one of this this is going to be my part two for my empties video um i had so much stuff that i just didn't want to put it all into one video so you guys can pick and choose if you want to watch this one if you want to watch the other one it's up to you but it was just so much. I just did not want to have a 30 minute long empties video. Like it's just too much. So from my first video, this is all that I went through. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Okay. So in my second video, we're going to go through all this. I'm going to try to go through all of this stuff as quickly as possible, but also try to talk about it as much as I can. Cause I do want to kind of recommend some stuff tell you what I like, tell you what I don't like, and then just go from there. So we're going to go ahead and just hop right into it. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is going to be this Hot Spring Spa. This is a moisturizing body wash. I went ahead and cut the packaging so that I can get it all out. I definitely love this scent. I've been loving it ever since I tried it the first time. Um, I think it was at the winter SAS. I picked it up and I was like, this smells so good. I feel like I'm in a spa. Like this is perfect. So I definitely do recommend this. I believe they had it at the last SAS. So I don't know if they're going to bring it back for this one coming up. But if they do, I definitely recommend that you get your hands on this and get the body cream or lotion, whichever you choose, to go with it. Because it smells amazing. You feel so relaxed, so soothed. Like, this is amazing. Okay, the next thing that I have for you guys is this down there wash. Okay, this is from Good Wash. It is in the scent Rose Water. This is what it looks like. So I was obviously using this for my downstairs area. Um, when I first started using it, I really liked it. It smelled really good. And as I started getting to like right here in the bottle, when I would use it, it started to smell really rank and it wasn't giving the same results. So I personally probably won't use this again because I just feel like something changed in it. Maybe it being in my shower changed, I don't know, but it just was not doing what I wanted it to do, especially because it says that's supposed to be pH balanced. So I don't know, but it wasn't working for me. So I wouldn't recommend that. Next thing I have is these two, um, what are these called? Toothpastes, that's not a word. Toothpaste, they're both from the same brand. This is from the Hello brand. I actually have another one, hold on, let me find it. So I have used this three times actually. Okay, so this one is the activated charcoal. Okay, then I have the naturally whitening farm grown mint if you guys can see that okay and then i have the anti-plaque and whitening toothpaste this is a natural peppermint so i didn't really see a big difference between using these three um i do feel like they gave me fresh breath they felt good on my teeth but do i feel like it whitened my teeth uh not really um they smell good, you know, I feel like they taste good as far as like the mint in them, they taste good. And I believe they're all natural, so that's why I wanted to try them out to try something better for my teeth that was more natural. Um, this actually still has stuff in it, but I just wanted to put it in the video, so it's not fully empty. But yeah, I would recommend trying them out. Try to get them when they're on a sale, just so you can try it out and see if you're like interested in switching up your toothpaste. Definitely try it out. It wasn't nothing crazy, but I do feel like it smells good as far as like your breath smells good and then it tastes good, you know, as far as brushing your teeth. So I would recommend it for that reason. Okay, the next thing that I have up is going to be this Dove 0% zero, zero Aluminum. This is the Lavender and Vanilla Scent. Okay, I use this all the way up. Now, the scent for this is amazing. I absolutely love it. I recommend it for the scent alone because it smells so good. But as far as the aluminum free, for me, I feel like I kind of sweat a lot sometimes. And I don't feel like this really kept me fresh all day. Like I feel like I had to reapply it while I was out because I don't feel like it kept me fresh. So if you sweat a lot, I would not recommend this because it's not going to do anything for you. But if you sweat on the lesser side, then I definitely recommend trying it. It smells really good. Your inner arms will be smelling great okay the next thing that i have is going to be some hand soap so the first one that i have is this ever spring lavender and bergamot foaming hand soap this smells really good i really like this brand i also use their um multi-purpose cleaner so the smell is really good 
feel like it makes you feel like your hands are really getting clean so i definitely recommend it for that i also think that this is a like a natural cleanser or something like that i don't know but it smells good then this one is the lakeside afternoon when i first purchased it i didn't think i was gonna like it but i really did end up liking it i wish i would have bought more than one this is sun soaked lavender dockside breeze and fresh rain so if they do bring this back i definitely will be purchasing it again i prefer it in the foaming hand soap versus the gel because i just feel like it smelled differently so i definitely recommend this one all right so the next thing that i have i actually have multiples of this but anywho so this is going to be the coconut oil conditioning body oil from victoria's secret pink this is what it looks like i have this in my bathroom i am in love with this like this i feel like it's the perfect amount of oily but not too oily like it's thick and it's a little thin if that makes sense like it's not too it's like right in between like an oil gel and like an oil liquid if that makes sense so i definitely recommend this i use it when i put on my lotion after i get out of the shower i just mix it in or i just put it straight on my body out of the shower and it just feels so good my skin always feels so soft like i've already bought like two more of these i'm trying out the honey oil i'm trying out all of them because i am obsessed with this so yes i recommend it <laughs> The next thing that I have is going to be this Endless Weekend. This is a hand soap from Bath & Body Works. I do recommend this one. It smells good. I feel like it gave me the perfect little taste of summer. So I definitely recommend it. It feels good on the hands. All right, so the next thing that I have is going to be actually for something that my boyfriend finished out. It's raw shea butter and mephora oil. Hopefully I said that right. Basically, it's a body wash. I'm just reading too much. It's a body wash. This is what he used. It made him smell amazing. I recommend it. Ladies, get it for your man. I'm going to get it again for him for Christmas. Even though he doesn't know, I'm going to buy it again because this smells amazing. Like, top tier. The bathroom will smell amazing. He'll smell amazing. Everything. So, definitely recommend. Take a picture of that. Look at that. Okay. Definitely recommend. All right. So, the next thing that I have is going to be another um, Glade spray. I had one in my first video. This is the Clean Linen. Oh, it's dusty. See, this is how you know they've been sitting and waiting because this is dusty. But yeah, recommend it. Um, if you like that fresh laundry smell, I definitely would, rec would recommend it. It's only a dollar. You can get it probably in Dollar Tree, Target, Walmart, everywhere. Like It's one of their basic smells, so I'm pretty sure you can find it anywhere. So the next thing that I have is going to be this Downy Unstoppables. This is the fresh scent. Um, I definitely do like this scent. It smells really good. But would I recommend this one per se? No, because it is pricier. I think it's like $13 versus the regular one. I don't know why, but it's way pricier. So I was actually able to find like an off brand. I think it's like a Target brand or something like that. But it's the same scent. Like it smells exactly the same and it's like $6. So if you guys can find that, look for it. I think it says fresh. It has a like a rounded top at the top and it's like an off brand. Definitely would recommend you try that one because it's a better price and pretty much smells the same. So that's this. Okay, so next up I have this Keratin Smooth Hair Mask. I feel like I've showed this in a video before and I put it back in here because I was going to use it for something and I still haven't used it, but I do recommend this. If you guys can find it, try it out. This made my hair feel so, so soft. Like it smelled so good. It was amazing. I've not been able to find it. I think I'm keeping it so that I can look for it, but I need to let it go. But it smells amazing. I recommend it 100%. Ooh. Next up, I have another spray, y'all. This is the Acoustic Sage. It's dried sage fig leaves and brown sugar y'all this i don't smell nothing but it smells good when it's actually something <laughs> i love this if i could find this again i would repurchase it i think this was a fall scent or i don't know but it's limited edition i only found one and i haven't seen it in the store again so but it smells good if you guys ever see this look okay if you ever see it pick it up because it smells good it'll have your house smelling amazing okay next up i have this in the star shower gel from bath and body works i do recommend it it smells good um will i repurchase it probably not i still have two i think in my closet the, the mini ones 
and then I have a couple of body creams and a spray but once I finish it I think I'm just gonna move on to a different scent but it doesn't it does smell good so I would definitely recommend you try it out get probably like a mini and try it out next up I have this Maui Moisture Shea Butter Hair Mask I feel like I had this in my video the last time but definitely go ahead and try it out this smells really good too the Shea Butter smells really good for your hair I cleaned this out y'all I cleaned it out but it smells really good I do like it and the packaging is cute so definitely recommend if you can find it try this one out because it does smell really really good okay next up I have this baby oil this is the lavender one I love the scent of this but this is one of the ones where I say like it can be a little bit too oily sometimes because it's liquid so I definitely would recommend if you get this one to put it on when you get out of the shower versus while you're putting your lotion on that way it can kind of sit in your skin and you can get off any excess and then put your lotion on but the scent is amazing y'all i'm not done yet it's too much in here all right so next up i have this tide oxy this is the refreshing breeze i don't even remember how this smells y'all it's not nothing crazy we just wanted to try it out i don't know if i would get it again um, I don't feel like it was like a stain remover. Like, I feel like it's supposed to be, but it really didn't feel like it did anything. So, I'm thinking about trying out other stuff besides that because it didn't feel like it was doing much. Um, I think I show you guys. I have this box in here. But I think I show you guys this one already. If not, definitely would recommend it with all those other toothpaste. But I feel like I showed you guys. Alright, so next up I have this conditioner i squeezed the bottle so i can get it all out but now i can't um there we go this is what it looks like i got it from dollar tree it smells good it's like an argon oil it does smell good i feel like it's good on your hair but i'm definitely branching out to try different stuff so i'm not going to purchase this again for a while because i'm going to try different stuff that i've been seeing so you guys can try it out if you've never tried it they have it at the dollar store they have that in a shampoo so go ahead and try it out if you like it if you like argon oil it'll work for you i just feel like there's better stuff out there y'all why am i not done why is there still so much in here okay so next up i have these Airwick. um what are these for the little wall plugs you know what i'm talking about yeah the little diffuser wall plug things whatever they're called i have two of them Okay, this one is I think the lavender and chamomile. It smells amazing. I still love this scent. It's divine. I would recommend it all day, every day. Definitely go ahead and try it out. Yeah, smells good. The only thing about it, I do feel like this one like dissipates really fast. Like I feel like I put it in. I mean, obviously, the one that I have in my bathroom, you can like change how much comes out. So maybe that's why. But I do feel like it's not strong if you don't turn it all the way up and then it doesn't last if that makes sense so the next thing that i have is going to be this baby dove this is a head to toe wash the sensitive moisture this is what it looks like i was also using this for my downstairs area and my body sometimes when i was using just basic soap um i recommend it but something about it like at the end i don't know like it started smelling weird so yeah i don't know but I recommend trying it out. Maybe a smaller bottle. But I do recommend trying it just to see how it works for you. What else? The next thing that I have is going to be these ultra thin pads. Okay, this is what they look like. This is the packaging. Um, they're like a more natural, I guess you could say. Um, I would not recommend these. I've tried these before, like when I was in college. And I got them because so many come in a pack. But then when I was using them, I just felt like they just were uncomfortable. They weren't long enough. They just were not doing what I needed them to do. Like, it just was not how I like my pads to be. So I would not recommend these. I'm not a fan. If you don't care, like, about design or about how they look or how they feel or if you're not moving around in them, maybe they're good. But for me, I just felt like these were not, just not a recommendation. The next thing that I have is going to be these lavender cleansing face wipes. I used to use these to take off my makeup. I'm not even sure if these... Oh, yeah, they are. 
gently removes makeup without drying skin because i was gonna say i'm not sure if these are makeup wipes but apparently they are they smell really good i feel like they didn't dry my face out too much but they kind of did so would i recommend them probably not i did buy them in a dollar store that doesn't mean anything but i just probably wouldn't get them again but they do smell good so i'm almost done kind of the next thing that i have is going to be this frosted passion fruit and winter vacay this is the beach flower chilled um victoria's secret pink lotion this smells really good i was gonna purchase this again y'all when i tell you i literally have no storage on my phone because all these videos it's so hard for me to finish this video i'm trying so hard so like i said i would recommend this that's all i'm gonna say about it because we gotta we got we don't got time okay so <laughs> the next thing that i got is gonna be this cashmere woods it smells really good this is what it looks like definitely recommend i believe they still have this in the store i continue to repurchase this it smells really good like i said we we're running out of time so i gotta finish this video um next thing that i have is gonna be these always pad what is in here it's gonna be these always pads oh no it's too much stuff it's too much okay this is what it looks like it's the box recommend yes these are the overnight so you know definitely recommend trying those out they're not the best for you but i feel like they do the trick and they're not super like uncomfortable and they don't bunch so i definitely recommend it next thing i have is a hand soap the passion fruit and banana flower i do think this smells good i don't like the smell of banana but i do think that this smells really really good so okay next thing i have is a maui conditioner this is the shea, uh, shea butter one that goes with the mask i have the shampoo as well i don't know if i finished it out but i do recommend this whole set it smells really good I have my hair smelling good i actually did a video based on this so if you haven't seen it i'm gonna link that somewhere check that out because that was my hair routine and i used this and it smelled good it felt good it was just good okay y'all i might not be able to finish this video i'm not even gonna lie to you like i'm really running out of space all right so next up i have this aloe and bergamot room spray can y'all see that oh y'all can't see it it's not focusing i do recommend it this had my room smelling amazing i have a candle in this scent i want to start burning it because this smells amazing like my room would be fresh okay clean smelling good next thing that i have is going to be this shower ranger i don't even know what to call this oh what is that anyways this is what it looks like i buy this from marshall's i recently just bought two more so i definitely recommend it it smells like peppermint like on your body like toothpaste on your body like a, a listerine on your body if that makes sense like it just made me feel so fresh and clean whenever i use it like i just feel like yes all the dirt is gone i'm just fresh i'm clean i smell good i feel good that's what this does for me so i recommend it i think i'm gonna stop the video here i might have to save these empties for the next one or just put them in another video because i'm really running out of space i do not have space for all this stuff like i just especially if i want to edit i don't have space so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here i do have a few more items in there they'll probably just have to wait but i did get through quite a few items so i'm grateful for that but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video sorry if i'm rambling and i can't really speak i haven't filmed a video in a while so my mind my brain and everything like it's not working together like it should but i'm trying y'all i'm trying to get back into it but thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my videos um let me know what you guys want to see i do have content on the way i just have to edit it and like i said i don't have any space on my phone and that's where i edit all my videos so it's just a struggle and i'm not buying more storage but that's a whole nother story but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. And until next time, bye guys.